how could being from another planet help supersize and grow and build your business? Sharon Horn Elsom here. And our idiom, our expression today to coincide with this year's BU 365 Day Annual Challenge is from another planet, to be from another planet. Grab my magnifying glass. This was kind of a fun one. Not exactly sure when and where it came from, but it's been around and the idea of it has been around literally for centuries, for a long, long time. Uh, it likely originated from the popular idea of extraterrestrial beings or aliens, life on the planet, and that there could be, because we don't know, there's no scientific proof one way or another, apparently, and I haven't researched this lately, but according to ChatGPT, uh, which is uh, an artificial intelligence that's a culmination of common knowledge, there, there hasn't been any actual evidence of there being life on other planets or somebody be coming here that's been from another planet. Now, my son-in-law would argue that ancient astronaut theorists say there is plenty of evidence that that beings from other planets and other dimensions, not maybe not other dimensions, other universes, however you look at it, may have indeed visited us. But what would that have to do and how does that relate to building and growing our businesses? Well, I don't know about you, but I have often been told I am stark raving mad, crazy, out of my mind, from another planet, uh, not human, <laughs> when it comes to growing and building different businesses in my life. Because entrepreneurs and people that build businesses and create things in the world that have never really existed before are often told they're crazy until they're super successful. And once you're super successful, people stop harassing you. They stop being trollish and negative toward you and telling you you can't do something, especially when you've already done it. And if you've done it repeatedly, pretty soon it's only the haters that pop out. And those are always the people that have never done what you just did. And so it usually comes out out of envy or disappointment in themselves that they never took a chance or never went for it. So what are some ways that uh, standing out from the crowd, looking and being different than others can benefit and help you grow and build and supersize your business. Chat GPT gave me four ideas today. Uh, there's many ways that being different is often your number one. It's, it's your strategic differentiation. It's why people choose you over other companies and businesses and brands that are doing something similar to what you do. We almost all, if we're creating successful businesses, are solving problem, a big problem, or some types of problems for a particular group of people. There are organizations that just sell to everybody. I think Coca-Cola, I think utilities, they, they just want everybody in a certain area. But that's differentiation as well, too. If I'm a power company or a waste removal company in the state of Wisconsin, for example, am I marketing or am I paying attention to and serving people in other areas? Maybe not initially, but as I grow and build and supersize, I may very well be. So number one, the number one uh, reason to be different or from another planet or focus on your strengths is because it does help you stand out from the crowd. Number two, innovation. It allows you to be more innovative and creative and find better solutions for the people that you've decided to serve. Number three, uh, you obtain customer loyalty. Customers that you serve well and meet their needs and solve problems for become our goal. My personal goal and objective is always to create lifelong relationships and lifelong loyalty and customers. Repeat customers, right? Repeat customers. I can't remember. The statistics change all the time. But it's far less expensive to have someone buy from you again than to be always going out and burning and churning and getting new customers. That's a lot of businesses, business models, but it's really hard to supersize if you're having to always go out and buy, borrow, or steal new customers all the time. And finally, brand loyalty is the other reason that, and brand identity, brand identity, and then hopefully we want to get people to not only love us and love our company and love our brand, but to be loyal to our brand, because then they go out and be emissaries for us and spread the word and share information, which is free advertising, which all of us love, at least I do. So love to know your experience. Has anyone ever told you you are from another planet? If so, share in the comments below so I know I'm not alone. Uh, otherwise, let's just think today about how we stand out, how we're different than everybody else or anybody else that does the something similar to us. You know, I think 
uh, any product or service that you sell, there's, there's so much competition, especially with the internet. And it's so easy for people to launch new products and services. What are you going to do to stay ahead of the curve? What are you going to do? And what are you doing to always be differentiating yourself, focusing on your customers, creating and being innovative and creating solutions for them, as well as building your brand and loyalty for that brand. Remember, if we don't create our brand, people will create it for us. And it might not be what we want it to be. All right. Have an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Hopefully, where and when does it come from? Didn't know on this one. And how can you use it to build and grow and supersize your business? Share your ideas with others below. And I'll be with you tomorrow.